our oldest license to, to sell wines directly with our own vineyards is dated 1841. At that time it was Luigi Costamagna and then the San Francesco and then Riccardo Costamagna. After that Valeria, that was my grandmother. And then the property is always in the same family from uh, more than 200 years. And then we have also a great collection with very old bottles of Barolo and Barbera. That's a particular bottle of Barbera, 1866, from the private cellar of the King of Italy, Vittorio Emanuele, in the Polenza. And we have also a very nice uh, award for the International uh, Expo that we had in Torino, because you know that the Torino was the first capital. It was the first capital in Italy, and then we had uh, uh, our king, the Savoia family, and uh, when we had uh, the 50 years of the Italian reunion in 1911, uh, we had an international expo like Milano 2015, that was uh, Torino in 1911, and the family had this uh, award, a gold medal, and this award because they introduced 50 years of Barolo production from 1860 to 1910. And that was something a little bit unique. Now there is a list of the winery that, uh, that were present at this International Expo, and there are only seven wineries that are still working now. In Barolo we have 11 different villages, but La Mora alone produces 30% of total Barolo production because all the Mora territory is in Barolo area. And then also it's the highest point. The village is 500 meters, it's the highest point in, uh, in, in the wine area. And then uh, after that we have uh, the other most important villages, <coughs> Barolo, Monforte d'Alba, Serra Lunga, Castiglione Falletto are the five most important villages. And totally, um, the Barolo area is shared in two parts, two different origin of the soil, two very different wines. La Morra, a part of Verduno and a little part of Barolo produce more elegant and soft wines. The soil is more similar than the Barbaresco. The origin of the soil is more similar than the Barbaresco soil. And the other part in front with Castiglione Falletto, Serra Lunga and Monforte d'Alba has a soil very strong and the wine are more uh, powerful and sometimes need a couple of years more to be very round. We can say that a Barolo from La Mora after five, six years is very pleasant. The Barolo from Castiglione Falletto, Serra Lunga needs seven or eight. This is the official map with Barolo vineyard in all the Barolo area. Um, we have this uh, single vineyard that is, is an historical is an historical sharing of the area but starting January 2014 that is also by the law because now we can produce Barolo with the single vineyard name and then the real DOCG appellation is Barolo with the name of single vineyard. And then that's important. This is only a geographical classification. They don't say if it's first uh, level, second level, not premier cru, grand cru, but in, uh, in, uh, in this part we have La Mora area, we have the four most important single vineyards. Cerecchio, Brunate, La Serra and the Rocca dell'Annunziata and then you can see that a very small piece of land, the Rocca dell'Annunziata in total is 30 hectares and we have a 4.5 in this, in this part of land, in the highest part and then also Brunate, Cerecchio La Serra are very small. Every single Every very important single vineyard is, uh, has a very nice exposure. Uh, south, southeast uh, is impossible grown in other, in other uh, grown high quality grapes in other exposure. 
and then the medium part of the hill between 250 to 380 no less no higher than, than this part in the nose the aroma arrive directly from the soil and then we produce Barola in traditional way aging in uh, big, Slavo big medium Slavonian oak 3000 liters maceration that it takes between two and three weeks with, uh, with the skin and uh, that's it's the traditional way but we are happy with that and then uh, in this case you, you can feel very well the nebbiolo sensation in the nose and also in, in the palate uh, because the wood uh, don't give uh, other, other kind of taste or tannin more sweet uh, that give a vanilla or chocolate taste. You feel very well the, the Nebbiolo aroma, it's a, the fruity sensation and also the balsamic sensation that you feel in the Rocca dell'Annunziata that is very, very intense with eucalypto or mint that you feel a little bit in our 